Oh my god, what did just happen in Bitcoin? Oh, that's not how to start a video, did he? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. Uh, I was just about to go to bed. It is 1.30 um, a.m. here in Mexico, and I see this huge, huge red 10k candle on my screen. So I decided to not go to bed and make this video... Um, to see what is happening on the charts guys let's quickly jump into the charts to see what the hmm is happening to bitcoin at the moment over here Bam. now this is the first chart this is the four hour chart on the four hour chart you can see the 10k red candle i have been talking about in the intro that is this candle guys it opened at 53700 and the low was at 41,900. That is more than a 10K candle. We are now back at the 48K level, but that was a huge drop. That is a huge amount of liquidations taking place now in people that were placing longs at that first drop already to 52K, guys. Uh, this is... This is something i need to be honest i did not expect to ever go because below 50k again during this run if we just check let's see if we draw the line is this on the four hour then we should take this candle above 51 to not break that uptrend because we need to have higher lows at the moment this is still a higher low than this but if we drop more it won't be anymore to keep structure and higher lows higher highs we can see this i think better on the bam this chart over here this is the day chart same line the day chart we were in the uptrend since here july you can see we went up we came back to the line we went up we came back to the line that was the first drop that was on the third yesterday and now here the fourth bam we drop even more below that support line i said in yesterday's video we could even drop to 40k but the possibility of that is very small i shouldn't have said that <laughs> because maybe it's a law of attraction because if you look at the dip it went all the way to 41,900 us dollar exactly that support level that we drew already on the charts before now we are pulling back to that support level and then we should be pulling back to that support level to keep the structure in this uptrend on the day chart as well guys these levels are there because you can see at the left that are the levels that we have been fighting or finding support before still not completely freaking out because there's a day chart and that means that this candle is closing now in 17 hours and 32 minutes so i will go to bed and I hopefully wake up with this candle above that green line again. That is what I hope. Okay. Um, we can see it over here as well. There was a three-day chart that I shared with you. I told you guys if we go down like that, RSI goes up, we will jump up to the top of that ribbon. We did that the one, two times before. This time, we didn't do that. We came from the top to all the way to the bottom. We were breaking it with that red candle over there. We didn't break it completely, and that made us dump even further away again, almost to that 40k level. This is the chart that I used yesterday, where I said, man, 40k, I don't see the play. Um, but oh my god, we, we came very close. And now the question is, are we going to bounce? Is this RSI going to bounce? Can we go all the way up again um, to these levels that we expected? Too new now, it is too late. I can't say you what the dump was. I think it's huge liquidations on one of the exchanges. Um, but we will see tomorrow again when I wake up and make another view. But here, on this chart, this is a very important one. The first one, the, the one before was a three-day chart. Now we go to the five-day chart. We found support on the Gaussian channel. Do you remember the channel that we have been talking about many times before? And um, we, we went bearish when we went into the channel. Then we had a long period of trying to get out. We couldn't get out and then we came out now we are finding support again on that channel that is how you see how important that gaussian channel is again look here we found support and then we 
you know, we came in, we tried to break out, we didn't. We came out over here and now here again finding support. We need to keep support on that level. We must not go down below that 52k level on the five day chart. This candle is taking another two days um, when it closes. And if this one closes in two days and 18 hours, it must not close in this Gaussian channel again. That would be very bearish. That would be able even to pull the price all the way back to that 42k level. So this candle, I'm going to watch like a hawk in the next two days and 18 hours. This cannot close in that Gaussian channel. Zoom out a little bit more. This is the weekly chart. On the weekly chart, we can see the same guys. Um, we drew the line again. We are breaking that support line, the trend line, the green line over there. Um, this weekly candle is going to close in one day and 18 hours. If we do not close above that green line, above the 53, 54K level, we are breaking that uptrend. And the thing that you can see, I'm going to delete that green line now, is that we are finding at the moment support on that yellow line here. That's a 21 moving average. You can see that over here, right? The input, 21. The second one is a 25. And the third one is a 30. The bottom one, the red one here, is the 55. We found support, ultimate support on a 55, like we did in this one here, the drop, you see, all the way to that bottom line. This touched that line again. We are now with the body finding support on that yellow line, the top yellow line, that's a 21 moving average on the weekly chart. I would prefer the candle to close above that yellow line in one day and 18 hours, so above that yellow line. The 50 MA is the green line, we have already broken that, and the total bottom line is this here, the 200 weekly moving average, which is at 37K, but okay, that in my opinion is at the moment, in this moment on the bull run, really impossible. You can see by this huge drop, this huge drop, we are filling this gap all the way over here, you know, in the volume. This gap now is being filled. So now we are completely ready to go in a huge parabolic bull run as these gaps are all filled. But again, I understand at the moment you don't even want to think about the bull run and you're thinking, oh my God, my portfolio just dropped with 30% or more. Um, I know that feeling guys, but please stay strong. We need to zoom out and look at the daily and the weekly charts. And that's what I'm doing now um, before I go to bed. Next chart, that is this one. This is the monthly chart. Also on the monthly chart, we are finding support on that yellow line that I drew in the uh, chart before. This is the 12th moving average on the monthly chart. You can see that this line has been support like from the beginning of this bull run here in June coming up, coming up, coming up, all, all the times touching it, taking distance, falling back to that line again. And now again, that candle exactly falling back, pulling back to that line around 47,000 US dollar. We need to keep support also on the monthly on that, but that will stay in another 27 days before we can um, see. Do I expect on the monthly chart in the logarithmic growth curve that we now in this moment pull back like Putuvux, for example, 33,000 US dollar? No. I really think that we will be fighting this midline a little bit more before we go up here to the top and the top of that line um, is still around 140k if we do it in, for example, um, January or December or January, February, March. So I am not giving up this bull run yet. I'm not, I'm too bullish yet. I don't see the longer time frames um, killing my bull run i say is that i still see the structure and uh, higher highs higher um, lows so for me that is all oh, shit, i'm a little bit tired sorry for that all intact um, also this will that i've been tracking he is not selling he bought uh, on the 29th of november i think when he wakes up he's going to buy the dip again we will see 
that this wall has been right all the time so let's see if he buys the dip tomorrow um, what did the bam bam do yes i put the bam bam now at the end uh, why at the end because um, i just want only the people that are really uh, interested in the bam bam indicator that watch the videos at the end uh, to buy or to you see the video um, this is the 15 minute chart on the bam bam the 15 minute chart there was the long the short sorry and the closing down below the yellow stepping line let's see over here we had the red dot a lot of blue and yellowish uh, yellowish sorry uh, we had the red line on top and then we have the bam bam crossing we had the bam bam crossing already over there to the downside so that's a triple confirmation on the 15 minute of a short of course i know when you do trade the 15 minute chart you need to be at the screen um, but that short would now have been resulting i would be stepping out of the short now because there's a long flag appearing of 11 percent with a leverage of 10 110 percent. i didn't trade this one i was not aware of this dump i was not aware of the short i was almost falling into sleep the other way around we have a long flag you need to wait for um the closing of the candle above the yellow stepping line we need to have green over here and the bam bam is already crossing so the bam bam is saying okay maybe we found the bottom now on the 15 minute chart so we could go up um if we look to the four hour chart let's see there is still it's still in the sh oh sorry it's still in the short over there the short already um so no the bam bam is not in the four hour saying anything but in the 15 minute yes it is now guys that was everything for this late night video sorry again for the quality i need to figure out something with the light that the quality gets better when i record in the evenings i hope you enjoyed the short update and um, i hope you're not freaking out i hope you're zooming out um, i bought a dip i had like thirty thousand us dollar teeth left on my account which i bought a little bit bitcoin at uh, forty seven thousand two hundred and fifty um i'm still in the game Till the end because we are going to see that 100k price julius bull run is still in my opinion still in tech uh, thanks for watching please if you enjoyed it give the view a thumbs up share with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and leave a comment down below what do you think how do you feel do you have any questions do you want me to do a live tomorrow to analyze the dip a little bit more if i have some more information down below in the comments please let me know thanks for watching i'm going to sleep now and see you tomorrow again bam